This past weekend, Coach Tim Tadlock chose to give sophomore Ryan Mosley the ball to start the season, but that isn't necessarily an indication of who will start on Friday nights from now on. Going in, we didn't have a lot of tape, and Ryan's kind of going to do what Ryan does. I mean, he's going to throw the sinker and throw the sinker and throw the sinker. And so you don't have to have a whole lot of info when you got a guy that has that kind of stuff and uh, made it easy, an easy decision from that standpoint. Mosley went four innings, striking up five while walking only one, but gave up two earned runs to have a 4.50 ERA to this point. But if Coach Tadlock is looking strictly at results from this weekend, fellow sophomore Dylan Dushek might get the nod as the ace after throwing six innings with five strikeouts and no walks, allowing two earned runs for a 3.00 ERA, which certainly impressed Coach Tadlock. I thought he was really good. Uh, I thought his command was really good. Fastball command was good. Uh, I threw some breaking balls and change-ups when he needed to. And But Coach Sadlock said right now results aren't the main thing he's looking for. In fact, he's looking for something completely different that could allow sophomore Ty Dameron and junior Quinn Carpenter to sneak back into the conversation. We're not really so much about results right now. All of them have really good presence. Uh, all of them have a lot of confidence. And really, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for rhythm and timing and release points and all those things. As long as the presence is there and composure on the mound. That's kind of what you're looking for. The dark horse in all of this is freshman Jacob Patterson, who threw three innings in relief on Friday to earn the win. But as always with Coach Tadlock, only time will tell. For the Red Raider Nation, I'm Gene Dumont.